The Selena String Ensemble was the de facto string sound of the 1970s and 1980s. It was used on thousands of records, and the, uh, the great thing about it is it sits so well in a mix. Uh, it was made by a Dutch company called Eminent. They first made it as part of an organ add-on, and um, then they came out with it as a separate standalone string machine called the String Ensemble. And it was marketed in Europe by Eminent, but it was also marketed in the U.S. by ARP. And so there's been some confusion as to, well, who really made the string ensemble? Was it ARP or was it Eminent? They were all made in the Netherlands by Eminent. And when they came to the U.S., ARP simply rebranded them and put their name on it. The beauty of the string ensemble is the bucket brigade delay chips that it uses, BBD chips, to create a chorusing effect. And it actually creates, um, there, there are actually six BBD lines that make three stereo chorus effects, uh, or three stages of chorusing. And each of those stages is fed by an LFO circuit in a different way. And so everything is kind of sweeping and swooshing around and it just makes for a really lush and beautiful effect. And that magic is all kicked in when you press the modulation button over here. And uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate what it's like without it and then with it. So this is, uh, let's see, let's just do uh, violin sounds. That's the violin sound just straight. It's not too rich or exciting, but then you kick in the ensemble effect and it comes to magic. Makes a tremendous difference in the sound, so it's a really beautiful, lush effect. And, and the great thing about it, again, is with that going and just with the design of how the, how the string machine works, it sits so well in a mix and uh, just works great for a lot of different applications. So there are four basic sound settings on the string ensemble. The violin is the most standard one. And then the viola is the same thing, basically an octave lower. And then you also have trumpets. Yeah. <laughs> And then you have horns, which are basically uh, trumpets filtered differently. And then you can layer all these things together. So you can start with violins, add an octave down, add in the horns. So you can stack different things in that way. And then down on the bottom end, from this G downward, you can layer in an extra bass sound. So uh, here's the violins. You can push the button and layer in cellos just on these bottom octaves. And that's an octave lower than the, than the violins. Or you can add a contrabass, which is two octaves lower. So that just gives you a little more beef on the bottom end. And then what you also have control over is uh, crescendo, which is basically the attack time, and also sustain length, which is technically the release time. So you can turn these down and have a quick kind of choppy sound. Or you can crank up a little more attack time and a little more sustain time, and you can basically get the sound of a concert hall. So you have several different controls for the basic parameters of the sound and um, it, it really does one thing really well and that's string sounds that sit well in a mix. And because it sounds so great and you can control those basic parameters, um, it's been an iconic instrument and it's been the one that uh, dozens of other manufacturers have attempted to emulate. The Selena as I say, is the de facto string sound of the 70s and 80s and the one that was always copied.